Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Annabella's. My name is Elaine and I am the owner of my little shop. I'm so happy that you're here. I hope you got in lots of stitching last week. Um, I got quite a bit done, not as much as I would have liked, um, but I did go to Hobby Lobby yesterday and spent a small fortune on buying all of the items I need to start actually completing and displaying um, my finished pieces. So hopefully I'm going to work on that this weekend and be able to bring you uh, some of it next week. It'll also give you a glimpse of what our Finish It For Me services will look like. So it's kind of fun. So um, this week I have a couple works in progress to show you and I'll show you a couple new starts. Um, I've been working on February Sampler of the Month. Um, I did switch out some of the colors as I mentioned last week. Um, but this is fun. And then the frames that I ordered um, can have arrived. They're here somewhere. I just don't know where they are. So I will show those to you this weekend on a Facebook Live because I know many of you are looking for frames for this series and that they can be hard to come by. So I will go ahead and put that up on Facebook as soon as I find the frames. I think they're in the mailbox downstairs locked, but I will get to that. So worked on that. And then I also uh, worked on this little guy. This is from Tra La La. And I just love those two little bunnies. And because I'm soon gonna have uh, two grandchildren, I thought this was adorable. So I hope to get this done by Easter. And this is what I have worked on and how much I've gotten done. Aren't they cute? I think they're adorable. So those are my two starts. I actually lost a project. I'm so sad. I don't know if you remember my snowman. He was the, the snowman that I did on the chalkboard black Ada. And uh, it was a winter piece and it's gone. Don't know what I did with it. Could have thrown it out because that's happened before. Um, but I have searched high and low. I've looked in my uh, store. I've looked in my hen den at home. I've looked in my craft room at home and he is missing. So very sad, kind of depressing. But that being said, I decided I will start something else. So what I'll start to replace him, because he's now missing, is the new Stitching with the Housewives that just came in yesterday. This is Here Comes Peter Cottontail. Have you ever seen anything so adorable? Um, so Here Comes Peter Cottontail um, is new. It's now in the shop. And I am going to start this right away and hopefully have this done by Easter. So that'll be a work in progress that I'll be able to share with you next week. <clears throat> the other two we got in from Stitching with the Housewives that are brand new is Bunny Bakery. So Bunny Bakery is here finally and now available. And then Trucking Along April in their Trucking Along series. Uh, Trucking Along April is now available. And I do carry all of the charts in this series. I might be out of one or two, but they're, they always come back into stock. So if you're looking to stitch up a great series, this is one for the books. A few other things that came in this week is um, Tra La La Petite ABC. We got in another pattern, but it's already sold out. It'll be relisted later. But I really like that. Isn't that pretty? Just something really simple, really soft colors. Um, and I love the way that they have finished that piece. It would be pretty to display. So that came into the shop. And then we got in, um, let me get a sip of coffee. I gotta have a sip of coffee. A new designer that I absolutely fell in love with, like majorly fell in love with. So the designer is Primrose Cottage Stitchers. And um, here are three brand new items that came in. This is Hugs and Kisses. And what I really love is um, all of her charts are in full color. And they're super, super easy to read, super easy to read. So if you are looking for a new designer, uh, I absolutely highly recommend this lovely, lovely designer. And we are gonna be carrying all of her items that she makes available for sale to shops in our store. Um, Christmas Tree Farm is the second one that came in. I can't even stand it. Look at that, isn't that great? And again, on the back, you'll find all your color choices. And this is now available at Annabella's. And then brace yourself because this is my favorite. This is already sold out, but I promise I'm going to be getting in a bunch more later today or first thing tomorrow. I'm going to either order directly from her or from my distributor and I'll find out if my distributor has them later today. 
and they were already sold out last week so I don't know but here we go carrot farm look at this isn't that precious so I am a huge Easter lover. I've already started to decorate my house for Easter, especially after going to Hobby Lobby yesterday. Oh my God. Hobby Lobby has some amazing things uh, for Easter. So um, I'm going to get this stitching started ASAP. I am in love with it. And then look at the back. There are all of her colors. And again, everything is, in, look at her finishing. Isn't that finishing pretty the way they finish that? I may actually copy that. Um, so great new, great new designer, Primrose Cottage Stitchers, available at, at Annabella's and more on the way as she releases them. More haul. Let's see what else we got in. We got in more haul from Little Stitch Girl. Everybody loves Jordan. She's adorable and she is just a phenomenal designer. This is Winter's Way, Winter Way, Birds Cold. Love the two little snowmen. So that's available at the shop. And then she just released a new series. It's called Simply Sane. And the first one in the series is January. And January says, if kisses were snowflakes, I'd send you a blizzard. Um, so that's available. And then she also released at the same time, Simply Sane February. You stole my heart, but I'll let you keep it. So both of these are available now at Annabella's and you can get those there. Rami's Creations does the In a Jar series. I think we have Autumn in a Jar and uh, Christmas in a Jar and some of the other jars. Uh, but now we have uh, January in a Jar. How cute is that? And what does it have? Cardinals. So beautiful little cardinals. So January in a Jar. And then February in a Jar, which is really, really cute. And you definitely have enough time to stitch this up by Valentine's Day if you order it today. <laughs> So it's up to you. But I thought it would be a fun little stitch. Isn't that cute? So that's cool. Okay, then we got in uh, Love on a Platter, which everybody has been just dying for. And I only showed you a picture last week, but the actual pattern is now here. And look at how beautiful that is. So again, this is uh, these go fast, and once they're sold out, sometimes they're impossible to get. I'm still waiting on Christmas tray, and a tr Christmas tray, and it's been months because uh, that sold out before Christmas, and I still can't get it in. So love on a platter. Um, even if you're thinking that you can't do it for this year, now's the time to grab it if you want to stitch it up for next year. Boom, we got that. Then Winter's Rabbit, which I adore. Isn't that a pretty Easter stitch? I love the Easter lilies and the really soft blues, a little bit of the soft pinks and greens. Just a really pretty stitch. That's available. Um, Prairie Schooler, um, of course, Hoffman's um, has reprinted uh, all of a lot of their items. And this is January. So here's January. And then we also have February in the shop and we have March daffodils in the shop. And then there's quite a few others. So just type in the Prairie Schooler in the search bar and you'll see all of the different Prairie Schooler items that we have. Um, and whenever they re-release new items or reprint them, I'll go ahead and, and make them available to you. Now this is um, back in stock. This is with thy needle and thread, Winter Rose Manor. Absolutely stunning. Um, just beautiful. I've added this to my personal stash as well. And this isn't a booklet. Uh, it is in color. So it makes it, you know, nice. And that's the back of the pattern. So there you go. This is available. And um, I don't know when they're going to sell out, but once they're gone, they could be gone for good. Um, I am getting in her brand new Valentine um, chart pattern, whatever. And uh, I'm ordering that today. So if it's in stock and it hasn't sold out by the time my distributor processes my personal order, um, that'll be available and will be listed at some point uh, today, which is Friday. Thank God. <laughs> Can I just tell you, thank God it's Friday. I'm glad this week's almost over. Mm. Let me see what else I have. Okay, so next I'm gonna sh share with you on the kits. So normally what I do is when I place an order for kits, I just order a bunch from um, one designer. Uh, so I have a lot of Dimensions kits. I have a lot of Riolas kits. This past week, I ordered and received all the Vervaco kits, the latest Vervaco kits. Vervaco is a little bit more pricey than some of the others, but the quality is simply outstanding. And the kits are extremely comprehensive. 
So this first kit that came in from Vervaco is called Christmas Birds. Don't let the foreign language throw you. Uh, all of the kits come uh, with English translations. So this is adorable. Um, there, the hoops are included, so the hoops are on the back. And um, you can get this at Annabella's. Each of these hoops are four by four. So these are very nice. Now think ahead to holidays next year. Think ahead to, you know, gifts that you're gonna create and give. Um, so this would be something fun to get started. And everything you need is included. So that's the first kit. A couple other little kits is, um, this is Ice Star. So these are just little ornaments for your tree. And there's the back. And you know what these remind me of? I have, when when I got married my first time around, let me just tell you, I was young, I was uh, 21. And we were poor as church mice, as my grandma would say, my beautiful grandmother. Um, so we, we didn't have a lot of money. And um, because Aunt Millie taught me how to stitch, I, um, you know, had to make my own ornaments. And my ornaments were these little uh, cross-stitch um, uh, gold, things that you would hang on the tree and they, they were oval. So I have a tree that to this day I display every year and it, it's, I call it my Charlie Brown tree. It's a little fake Charlie Brown tree. It's only about, you know, yay big. And I put all the ornaments that I made back in the day when um, I first got married. And it's to remind me uh, now that, you know, I've lived life and, you know, many decades have passed and um, I've been very fortunate um, to enjoy some success in my other uh, two businesses that um, you never forget where you come from. You know, you never forget, you know, your humble beginnings and, and, you know, I want my children to always know, you know, that for those who uh, are given much, uh, much is expected in return. So we try to give back um, as much as we can. But when I saw this, I thought, how fun is that? Um, that those gold, little gold frames can be hung up on the tree and they bring happy memories. And I just think the pattern's precious. So this is available in the shop. Then they have a card kit. So um, I've never been one to stitch up cards. I don't know. What do you think of this? Would you stitch up cards? So I'm, I'm afraid someone would throw it out with the other ones. <laughs> so this is a little card kit. And um, don't know how many cards you can just, you, so let's say there's three. So you can stitch up three cards, um, but I would give them to people that wouldn't throw them out because if you're gonna invest all that time, um, you know, you don't want them to toss them. Uh, these are uh, on 18 count Ada. So this card kit is available in the shop. Kind of fun. Live Simply? No, I keep calling it Live Simply and I go to look for it in my computer when I sell it and I can't find it because it's called Flower Truck, not Live Simply. But there is Flower Truck and the saying is Live Simply. This is a cute little kit. It's $11.99, less your discount. It is on 14 count Ada and it's seven by five. So it's a fun stitch and a great gift for people who enjoy um, those little sayings. Uh, two more great kits that came in are, um, what's this one called? Let me see. Oh, sailboat. Okay, so this is sailboat. I know some of us are really looking forward to warmer weather, right? So this is sailboat and this is available comes with your, your chart and with all of your floss. And I think this is stitched on 14 count. Let me see. I don't know, I can't tell. If it was in, a, if it was in English, I might be able to tell, but you know what? I don't know, it doesn't look like it's in English. Whatever it is, it looks like 14 count. If it's not 14 count, it's 18 count, but there you go. And then they have a coordinating one lighthouse, which is my favorite. I love lighthouses. So these two kits are new from Verbaco and they are now in the shop. And then two more, and then we're done with Verbaco. Um, here are winter birds, winter robins. Great kit, very pretty, great winter stitch. It's kind of got like an oatmeal fabric uh, that is available. And then last, for those of you who are thinking ahead to Easter, look at this. Aren't they cute? The mommies and the baby chicks. So this is bunnies with chicks. And 
you can get that too. So, and I only buy um, a few of these. I don't have like 10 of them. So I get like two, four, six maybe. So if you see them and you're interested, uh, grab them when they're available because once the seasonal items sell out, I rarely will restock them. I might carry one or two, but I'll rarely restock them until the next season. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, we have embroidery. So we got in quite a bit of embroidery patterns. So for those of you who love to embroider, ooh, let me move all this first. I'm sorry for the background noise while I do this, but I got some stuff over here I wanna show you and it's getting squished. Okay, there, now it's not squished, but everything's still on. Ah. Okay, so we got in a couple of patterns in. I'm not gonna show you everything that came in, but I'll show you a few. This is from Chickadee Hollow. Um, cute, quilting causes global warming. And that is adorable. It's fourth in the series of the Quilting Snow Ladies. So uh, these are adorable. And then this is cute. It's called It's Sewing Season. Isn't she adorable? I love her. Um, and this is also available. The finish size on this is eight by 10. Um, and she uses all DMC floss. And we can kit this up for you. Both of these we can kit up. And then if you uh, type in Chickadee Hollow Designs in the search bar, if there's any other embroidery patterns that you see that you want, let me know and I can create uh, floss packs for you, for those of you who want them. So there's that. Then Bird Brain Designs, uh, we got in quite a few patterns from them, but this is the one I wanted to show you. This is a table runner um, and it's called Snow Happens. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? So Snow Happens is available. Thought it makes a great table runner. And again, this would be a great gift uh, to work on now, uh, between now and next year. Uh, looks pretty easy. Uh, doesn't require a lot of fabric. Um, and it just requires uh, one ball of pearl cotton uh, floss. So there you go. That's available. And then uh, Crab Apple Hill Studio. We carry a lot of their items. Um, they have a series called Memory Lane. This was Bringing Home the Tree, which is in stock. We've had this in stock, but I haven't shown it before. So this was Bringing Home the Tree. And then we just got in Snowball Delivery. Isn't that precious? So Snowball Delivery is now available. And um, we also carry everything in the Noah's Journey. So Noah's Journey um, is, you know, an extensive uh, quilt pattern. Um, but we carry each of the um, patterns as she releases them. Now, which one's first? Hippo, hippos and moose. So this is hippos and moose. So again, it's Noah's journey, so that would be Noah's Ark. <laughs> Look at the little bunnies. Love the bunnies. So that's available. And then ostriches. Here's the ostriches. Can I just tell you, that's a peacock. That's not an ostrich. And when we moved to the new house that we've moved to, there's about 25 um, peacocks that walk around our neighborhood. And can I tell you, they are loud. When they squawk, my dogs go crazy. But um, they've homed themselves in our development and they are everywhere. Uh, and they're quite beautiful. They're blue. I'll try to take a picture. Um, but they're very blue and very vibrant. And um, we live on a lake, so they're always down by the water. But they're, they're quite lovely. So this is available. These are ostriches. So that's everything I have to show you um, in the embroidery section of the shop. So you can check that out. Got in some fabric. I finally opened it. Um, Mill Creek Garden from Moda has now arrived. We have all of the pre-cuts, um, fat quarters, uh, fat eights, jelly rolls, charm packs, and layer cakes. Uh, this is a charm pack, and I am going to be able to show you a little bit better this time. I'm keeping this one, so don't worry. There, look. The fabric is stunning. So many, look at that, isn't that beautiful? So many choices and so many different color combinations. Um, lots of lavenders, greens, creams, soft prints, tons of ideas. My mind spins, look at that. So there is all, and I'm skipping quite a bit. So if you go on to the Etsy shop and you type in Mill Creek Garden, um, it will take you to, so I don't know, there's 42 pieces with these charm packs. I believe 42 pieces. So um, if you type in Mill Creek Garden on each of the pre-cuts, 
um, I have a, a, a picture that shows all of the fabrics that are included so you can get a better idea. But this is just precious. This is pretty and you can stitch up, uh, quilt up some really, really nice um, projects with, with Mill Creek. So that's available. We're getting in more Moda fabrics this week or this coming week. Uh, Riley Blake should be coming in. Um, and I'm getting one more order, but I can't remember who the designer is. Uh, so watch the Etsy shop frequently because we get in things and I forget to mention them and there's just not enough time in these videos to do it. Um, every single thing that comes in. Our February quick stitch is um, St. Pa St. Patrick Bird. We won St. Patrick Bird. Here it is again for those of you who don't know about our February quick stitch. Uh, every month we do a quick stitch at Annabella's. Uh, we hope that you join our Facebook group at Annabella's shop um, and stitch along with us. Uh, we do them a month in advance. So February, um, we're stitching this so that we'll have something completed to enjoy in our home for St. Patrick's Day. So you can get that. Floss packs are sold out, um, but I can put together um, probably a DMC floss pack for you. I just don't have the button, but I'll try to order some more. So there you go. And these are available at Annabella's in the shop. Okay, what else do I have? Do, 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 store haul. Okay, so I know what I want to tell you. Um, the 2021 Needlework Expo is going to be held March 6th through 8th. On the Etsy shop, if you look at the menu bar on the left-hand side of your screen, you'll see at the very top, um, 2021 uh, Needlework Expo. That is where you should go if you are looking for everything that's going to be released by designers. Uh, all of the top designers are going to be participating, and I plan to be there all three days. So I've already started to get some notifications from designers with the pre-order sneak peeks, and those designers have, have let me pre-sell. So right now, the Blue Flower, uh, which we all love, uh, released five beautiful new designs that all will be available um, you know, at the Expo. And they're also now available for pre-order. So check back often. Um, it could be every day that I add items, could be once a week, but as soon as a designer releases uh, something that they're going to be sh sharing with us at Expo uh, and they give us permission, it will be up on the site and available for you to pre-order. Uh, because of the popularity of a lot of these designers, pre-orders sell out fast, but that's why we do them so that we can reserve those for you and you can be sure to get them immediately as soon as Expo ends. So that's kind of fun. Um, first time that I'm going to be attending a, a virtual Expo, so I'm interested to see how that's all going to play out. Um, but they're experts at it and I'm sure that uh, it'll be a good time for all. Um, so that's good. Um, epic fail last week on getting my floss club started and here's why not to make an excuse but it's an excuse but it's not an excuse um, I have to check with the designer uh, or the uh, manufacturer of the floss that I've chosen to include in our club I need to make sure that um, her supply will equal our demand so in other words if if I uh, want to offer floss every month and pick three skeins, I need to make sure that she can produce that and I need to find out how many she can produce. That will be the limit as to how many people can join the club. So I'm gonna reach out to her today, uh, send her an email, tell her I wanna start a floss club and see what she says as far as whether A, she'll even do it uh, and B, how many uh, she'll allow me to offer each month um, so I can limit uh, club membership, okay? So just bear with me, I'm new to this, so uh, I apologize, but I'm kind of learning as I go and winging it. Um, and I didn't give that a lot of thought and jumped the gun and said that I would have it posted last week. And then I thought, you know what? Let me double check because God forbid I post something and then have to go back and say, now we can't have a club. So working on it and I'm sure that I'll, I'll figure it out. I just may need, you know, a little bit more time on that, but it's coming. So that's good. Um, let's see, what else do we have? That's it. I don't have much really left today. Um, I have the contest winners. So last week, um, my question is, what do you like to stitch? And uh, you all commented below, which is great. Uh, that's where um, I get your feedback. And that's also where we pull the winners on our app that uh, selects our winners. So for all of you that participated, I love reading the comments. It's so much fun. I like to just sit back and, you know, go through each comment and, and read it. And thanks so much for, for you know, participating. So the four winners for last week's contest, which was floss tube number six, is Clem Stall Cup, Debbie White, Anne Shaheen, 
and Fran Smith. So for you winners, congratulations. Uh, one of the things that we wanna make sure is that um, if you do win, you have to be a subscriber to our channel. So please make sure that you are subscribed to Annabella's channel on YouTube. We will be checking to make sure. Um, so you gotta make sure you're subscribed. And as long as you are subscribed, uh, if I called your name, you will certainly receive some happy mail. Uh, but I need your email address. I don't know your email address. I have no way of contacting you. So go ahead and email me at info at annabellas.net. Uh, include your name and your address and maybe your phone number just in case. And I will get your happy mail right out to you. So let's see. Next week, what questions should we ask? So I gave it some thought. And I thought um, something that I'm always wondering is, you know, what does the back of your projects look like? So some people take their stitching very seriously and their back is as neat as their front. Um, and some people, you know, don't care what their back looks like. Their back is messy. Uh, so share that with me. Let me know, you know, what do you, do you pay attention to what your backs look like or do you not care what your back, let me see where mine is. Let's see, let's see what our backs looks like. All right, I don't even know. I, I don't really look at my, okay, so here I'm gonna, okay, I'm embarrassed, but I'm gonna show you. So this back is not good, right? Well, it depends, right? Because who cares? Nobody really looks at the back. But then other backs of mine are very clean. Like That's the back, not the front, see? So who knows? I don't know what I like. Um, I think if I'm tired, I tend to be sloppy as far as my back goes, and I'm not really, you know, using my loop method. So if I use the loop method, which I started to use this year, um, when I started my projects, my back's tend to be much neater and much cleaner and if I don't travel um but the thing is I get lazy and I get tired and I sometimes mostly like a lot of you have to stitch after work so I stitch at night and I'm usually in bed by nine <laughs> so and my husband will laugh and say she's a liar she's upstairs by eight I go up at eight but I don't go to sleep till nine um and sometimes I'll stay up later that's not always true but I find that if I'm tired um, and I, I don't want to change my needle out, so I travel and that causes a sloppy back on my projects. So long story short, next week's question, if you want to participate and comment below, uh, what do your backs look like? Do you pay attention? Does it matter? And how do you start your projects? I'm curious. You know, do you use the loop method? What method do you use as you get started? Um, so that would be great. Um, I guess that's all for today. Thank you for joining me. Please remember that the best place to shop is at Annabella's shop on Etsy. If you are so inclined to follow me on Instagram, that would be good. So follow me on Instagram, join our Facebook group. Facebook group is where we post all of our, um, you know, contests. And sometimes I'll do special coupons for the weekend. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. That's the only place that you're going to receive the code. Um, for the weekend sales. Um, and if you want to participate in our monthly sale, Country Cottage Needleworks monthly sale, uh, you can join us on Facebook as well. So thanks so much, everyone. I really appreciate all your feedback. Um, I'm so glad that you come back every week to spend some time with me. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next week. Bye.